So that could be one of two things I found. Let's say two buckets for the, the typical supplement for a college. First bucket is, as I detail in other videos, a question that, that it pretty much is, why do you want to attend our school? And to answer that effectively, you can look at other videos, but in short, do a lot of research, paint a picture of yourself, maybe in your, your perfect day, you're walking through the campus, paint a picture of yourself as a student. You want it to be specific, and through that specificity of the professors you want to work with, the classes you want to take, the clubs you want to join, your day-to-day -day life, through that specificity, you're going to show excitement. And that is a lot more impressive than just saying, I'm so excited to attend this school, and then listing off a bunch of facts that anyone could just look up uh, on the admissions site. So do research, look at student-facing sites. So pretend you're a freshman, you're already at the school and you're looking for clubs to join. Find sites like that. Uh, they exist for almost every school, student newspapers. You can find extremely specific facts that only a student would know online. It's possible, you just have to know where to look. And obviously I know a lot about schools, so I help students figure out what a, a cliche topic is and to not include that in one of their essays and maybe provide them with facts that are a little bit more unique and things that an actual student would talk about as opposed to something that's just uh, uh, repeated on every single tour that people know about the school, but maybe that's not actually a thing. Maybe it's not an actual uh, uh, authentic fact that a, a, a real student would write about. That's the first bucket. Why do you want to attend our school? And that's a real quick crash course on how to answer that. The second bucket of supplement question on the Common App is pretty much anything but that. Describe a course that you would like to see at our school and provide the syllabus or write a letter to your future roommate. Obviously there's a grab bag, it can be a lot of different things, they change year to year. Uh, the important thing to mention with the second bucket of supplement questions is not to, to hold off to the last minute to answer them because sometimes they're really good questions. and questions are extremely powerful and if the question allows you to open up and create a really solid piece of writing you may want to consider somehow incorporating that into your personal statement so realize that uh, a question asked as a supplement don't don't forget that that's material you you're in charge of your application you're shifting around all these different details that paint a picture of who you are so if something about a supplement question really clicks with you and you, you, you write something wonderful, magnificent, and maybe you, you already considered your personal statement finished, reconsider that. You can mix and match pieces, and it's important to, to, to realize that there's a fluidity with your application and all the writing material. The writing material is writing material, and I'm not saying every single supplement question will be perfect to include in your personal statement, but there is a lot of potential there. Sometimes these schools ask extremely uh, specific focused questions and you find yourself uh, responding well to them and, and writing something that maybe is better placed in your personal statement since your personal statement needs to be the best piece of writing that you've ever created. You've got to make the reader cry, make the reader laugh, and you've got to do that in less than 650 words. That's your A material, it's your best material. So if the supplement question helps you create that A grade material, don't be afraid to swap it out of the supplement question. Maybe come up with something else for the, the supplement and then put that amazing material in your personal statement. So I'm David, signing off from Central Park. Keep writing, keep sending me questions, guys. You absolutely are wonderful. And don't worry, this process is a little grueling now, but you'll be looking back on it in five years and hopefully realizing that it uh, uh, was just another phase that you got through and use that phase to maybe learn more about yourself and realize what you want to get out of life. So that sounds a little cheesy, but uh, as always, guys, uh, visit my site for more details, and thanks a lot.